Okay, guys, well, we are going to start substituting today, okay? I'm going to give you some notes, right here, and I have it on the computer, so give me one second. Chase, could you put your name on it? Mm -hmm. So these are notes for you to have. Please don't lose them. Okay? So now that we started doing all these algebraic expressions and simplifying and everything, we're going to start putting all of uh, the numbers that go inside of these variables that we've been looking at, right? Mm -hmm. So look at your definitions. Chase, mm -hmm. that's not the page where your definitions oh. are. Could you please? Okay. Now look at the definitions. The variable. Okay. Mm -hmm. What does it say? Does oh. one of you want to read? No. A okay. letter or symbol mm -hmm. such as a B or such as a B and or Y that represents a number. Okay. Could you continue, Christopher? A variable in an algebraic e equation is a placeholder. placeholder that can be replaced by a number. Okay. Perfect. Yes, very good. Do you know what that means? Uh, a placeholder for a number. number yeah. Okay. A placeholder for a number. Now, what you have right there is... You have 6n plus 3. Okay. Which one is the variable? Chase? Oh, the n. The n, very good. Nice. So, what is the n according to your definition? A variable. It is a variable. And what will... It's a placeholder for what? For the 6. A placeholder for... Go ahead, look at your definition. Here, look at your definition. It's a placeholder that can be replaced by a number. Okay? Now I put right there in italics in the bottom. It can replace, look at right there. It can replace any number. Okay? So it could be a 7, a minus 2, a 1, a 2,000, a 1 million. It can be any number at all. Okay? So do you understand that? Okay, so give me a number. Not a, such a big number so that we can try it. Give me a number. Eight. 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 So n is going to be eight. So if n is going to be eight, what are we going to do? Six times eight plus three. Six times eight is... <laughs> 6 times 8 is 48. Very good. Nice. Plus 3. 48 plus 3 is 51. 51. Nice work. So 6n plus 3 when n equals 8 is 51. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. So let's keep going. What does it say? Uh, algebraic expressions. Okay. A combination of one or more variables. It may include numbers and operations. Okay. So that's what we're talking about, right? This right here is an algebraic expression. And it says that it can it may contain what? One or more variables. Here's a variable. Remember the n is the variable right here? Okay. So can you have one or more of these? Okay. Does that make sense? One and it may, these. And it may include what? Mm. Oh, it can. That's okay. Right in underneath algebraic this? expression, it says it may include numbers and oh. 
It may include numbers, operations. Okay, so we have the variable. What else do we need? Um, number. Number. Where's the number? Three. Three. And what operation do we have? N plus three. That, very good. Plus nine. That's an algebraic. Do you understand this? Mm -hmm. Okay. So good far, it's good. Chase? Yes? Okay. So let's do one more just to make sure that we understand if it's an algebraic expression. So do you get on this, guys, that this is the operation sign, the plus? Yeah. See how this one's the operation sign? Mm -hmm. Good. And then which one's the variable in here? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Now let's look at this. Is this an algebraic expression? Yes. Yes. So what does it have to have? A y. I mean, an, an, a variable. Very good. Which one is a variable? The y. Very good. And then it could have what else? Look at your expert. It's okay. Right here. What's that one? Uh, signs. Operation signs. Good. Okay, an operation. Which one will be oh, the operation sign? The three and the negative six. The That's three? Good. Yes, because the, the three is what? A positive. It's multiplying. Yeah, it's multiplying. So that's the operation, right? It's uh -huh. multiplying. And this is also an operation, the, the minus, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's okay. subtracting. So, and then it has to have a number, right? So, let's say that this doesn't have the number, it would still be a number one, right? Because there's one y. So there's the number. Okay. You know what helps me with operation signs, guys, to remember? It tells us what to do with the number. Mm -hmm. So it says multiply the number, mm -hmm. subtract the number, add the number. That just, I think, is kind of helpful. Is the operation sign, just like a road sign tells you how to drive, our operation sign tells you what to do with the numbers. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an easy way to look at it. Yeah. Okay, guys, now go to your questions. Okay. Uh, let's start with you, Chase. What does number one say? Does it matter when what letter I, I use for my, vari for my variable? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Do you think it matters? No. That's right. It doesn't matter. You can use any letter you want. We've been using a lot of X and a lot of Y, sometimes C, but you can also use A, B, C, Mm, H, N, you can use any letter as a variable, okay? So it doesn't matter. Um, if, you, if you see, what do you think? What? The X. Should I tell them if they see it in cursive? Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't in cursive. You do it. <laughs> yes. Good. Now, sometimes when you use X as a variable, um, or if you see it in the text as a variable, you'll see it in cursive. Could you guess why? Huh. A little guess? Four. No? I, mm -hmm. I, I So you think. don't mistake it for like a time or something? Yeah. Nice. So that you don't mistake it when you're multiplying. Because if you just have the x like that, it's like you're going to think. And you, you're using numbers, you may mistake it for multiplying, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you could use the dot. Oh, you can True. use the dot. Very good. <coughs> that was smart. Or, what's the other one? Um, you can use the dot. The x. Or you can use the parentheses, remember? Yeah, the parentheses. Three, four. Now go to question two, Christopher. Can I simplify the expressions? No, the expression three x. No, like oh, that's three. Three. three times n. Three times n. Can you simplify that? Is there another way you can say yes. that? Yes. How can you simplify it? According to the exercises that you've been doing, whenever you multiply, go ahead. You Chase. could do three times one. You can put what? You, 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 you can place the n with the one, right? N with the one? Um, we, yes, but then it will be three times one, it will be Three. Oh. Three, right? And the, how can we simplify it? What's another way you can simplify Another that? way that we've been writing three times n. You already said three times n, and I 
told you guys you can write it like that. But ultimately, when you see it in an expression, three N. You see nice. it as three N. Very good. Please write it in your nice. so yes. in your notes. Yes. So and yes, then. and then write the way that you can simplify it. So in this one, yeah, perfect. Three N. Perfect. Chris? It doesn't matter. Very good. Okay. Now let's look at your other, your next one. So, you have these figures. And that's this one right here, guys. Right there. Okay, <coughs> there you go. So, Chase, could you read it? Of course. What expression can you write for the following diagram? Hmm. So, what algebraic <coughs> expression do you think you can write for that? Um, oh, let's see if, uh, one second. Four. That's Good. right. Four. Four is your number. Four. And what's the operation symbol that you think you would do? If you have four of those, maybe I would use N. Yes, okay. Four N. Right? No. No, it is. Four N is fine. Four N is fine. Okay? What would N mean? You have four of these, right? Mm -hmm. You're better than me. You know what I said when I saw that? Four squared. <laughs> <laughs> so, now let's look at the next one. Look at the, to create an algebraic equation, you need a constant this one will be four and a variable. So, Look at your so figures that you have right here, right on your pages. Why did you write Let me it see down? if did I can constant? make them up here. Let's see if we can we can figure it out this together. One, this one C or C Well, yeah. let's see. There's no square in these yet. Constant. Sorry, I constant. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, Tracy. I know. I saw that. And I said <laughs> square. So they're square. So I said four squared. <laughs> but that's right. So okay. you need something that stays the same so then and something that changes. Mm -hmm. okay. So in this one, what stays the same? Let's or see, or you guys. So oh, let's start with hmm. what do you see that stays the same? I see I see the two black circles in squares. squares. So the two squares and each one of these is constant. It's the same. So that would be the two. It stays the same. Okay, it stays the, the same. Two. Okay, what so changes? Christopher, mm -hmm. what changes? Mm, the shaded and the non shaded. The shaded stays the same. Oh, I know. What changes? The light. The white squares, the white squares right? You have first one row of three squares, and then you have two rows of three squares, and then you have three, three, rows. three rows, right? So what changes is one, two, three, the three squares, we called it N and the other one, right? Mm -hmm. N. Why? Because first there's one, first there's two, and then it's three, and it can go to infinite. Why does it can it go to infinite? Because a variable can be any number. Very good. Okay, so you're getting it? So, this pattern that you have right here can be expressed this way. So let's do this again. What does this mean? That it means three, three, I mean, three squares. Three squares. can change its variable in the amount of columns, right? Mm -hmm. And then every single time you will have the two added to it. Do you see this? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Now we're going to start putting, making our table on how this would look later in a graph. So let's see. So 
the one this one goes? Let's the two see. is the what? Do you remember which one it was? If this one's your variable, the two is called the what? Do you remember? The constant. Okay. Does that yes, make why sense? don't you go ahead so and write it down? The constant stays the same. And the variable sounds like variety. That's so it changes. Mm -hmm. Constant means it's constant. It stays the same. Okay? Variable is variety, it changes. Okay. So this is the variable. So go ahead and just write. Good. Or you can just write it all nice. together. That's good. And then just write variable under there. Variable. So you know what that Perfect. Okay. Go ahead. Write it in your exercise sheet so that you don't have to do extra notes. You can just pay attention instead. Okay? So let's just take a look at it again. The part that changes are the white squares. They're the ones that just can be any number at all. Okay? And the one that stays the same is that too. So the constant is the 2, okay, and the variable is the 3n, okay? All right. Now we're going to substitute a number for that n, okay? Let's start with a 1. So if, you, if we put a number 1, in this expression, what would that be? Chase? You put a number one in this expression. It will change the so n. Plug it so the n will be a, a what? One. A one. That equals? That. So no. what does that tell you to do? The three? What do you do with the three and the one? Times them together. Exactly. Multiply. Because our operation signal, remember, we need those symbols. That tells us to multiply. Why don't you put, Chase, on your exercise? Go ahead and put a little square on the side. And then put multiply. Okay. And then multiply will be 2 times, let's put the x cursive so that you start getting used to that. Okay, that is multiplying, and then 2 times x is multiplying, 2 times x is multiplying, and 2x is multiplying. So put, put those in. So that you understand that that's what that means, yes? Can use a bathroom. Uh, let's finish and then you can use it. We're almost done. Let's oh, just finish with this and then you can go. <coughs> <coughs> emergency? emergency? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. <coughs> so do you get, Christopher, that those are all the same thing? They're all telling us the same thing mm -hmm. to multiply. Perfect. You guys are rocking this out. Yes, Good they job. are. Yes, he. Yes, they are. So what I'm noticing that we jumped in front of mm -hmm. is finding. No, not really. I think they're 